color. This would make a fantabulous shade of lip gloss. That should be our next science project. Maggie and Raina's luscious lips. Before you plan your next big project together, you may want to take a look at your grades. See? That's a third C this term. My parents are going to be so mad. Unless I can convince them that C stands for C. I got it right. Another C, and I'll be seeing you girls in summer school. Miss Wingston is a totally hard grader. I'm sure everyone else got C's, too. Yes, another A. We're rolling in them, Wendell. High five. Ooh. We should celebrate, Eugene. Oh, let's stay home Saturday night, put on our astronaut costumes, and continue our debate on interplanetary physics. Over a delicious mug of herbal tea? Oh, you are bad. High five. Ew. <laughs> okay, so we're not like the brainy beetle twins over there. But Mrs. Winston does grade us unfairly. I mean, we have had some awesome projects. Remember our unbelievably fantasious presentation on the mysteries of electricity? Ta-da! And our dazzling exhibition on gravity. <laughs> Ta-da! And hello! What about our incredibly mind-blowing time machine? We did it! We have just returned from the future, and we have big news! I'm gonna be a famous rock star. Reina's gonna be filthy rich. And Dawn, you should really watch those Between Meal snacks. Ta-da! Oh, who are we kidding? We're scientifically challenged. See, I got it right. I gave it a shot. Well, we're not mad at you, Maggie, dear. We're just disappointed. Well, I'm kind of mad. I'm sorry, Mom and Dad, but science is really hard and so totally boring. <laughs> but mostly really hard. Well, I don't know what else we can do to help you, dear. We've bought you books. We got you a tutor. Well, heck, we even hired a motivational speaker. You can do it, Maggie. Success is just around the corner. And he's still here. There's only one thing left to do. Around me. Give you cash. Huh? See this? It's all yours. As soon as you bring home an A. <laughs> so you're saying all I have to do is get an A on my next science project and I get all of that major moolah? Yep. Isn't that kind of like bribery? No, it's exactly like bribery. Just making sure we're all on the same page. <laughs> and remember, class, you have another assignment due next week. The Science Super Project. This one makes up half of your final grade. So choose your projects and your partners wisely. Maggie, what are we gonna do? If we're partners again, we're bound to get another C. Yeah, about that. Listen, this is really hard, but, well, I'm just afraid if we end up in summer school, we might blame each other and it could ruin our friendship. And of course you got that cash on the line. Oh, yeah, that too. Anyway, that's why we need new partners. Like who? I don't know. But if we want A's, we're gonna have to do something drastic, like... Oh, how about we present an in-depth report on how us beetles molt, shedding our exoskeletons, thus becoming men? Please, save it for health class. How about tracing the phases of the moon versus their barometric pressures, hmm? Like breaking up the beetles. Oh, yeah, I'm right there with you, fly friend. But how in that dump will we ever get them to do their science super projects with us? I don't know. We're going to need a plan. A complex, intricate plan. Something they'll never see coming. All right, oh, this will be a Ew. 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 pretty girls are talking to us. And we haven't even molted yet. <laughs> this is gonna be easier than we thought. Wanna be our science partners? Did Dimitri Mendeleev develop the periodic table? Huh? That would be a yes! So you see, the moss combines with the photosynthetic pigment of the chlorophyll, thus creating a <laughs> heliotrope. Yes, Eugene. That seems to check out. My, my, my. Look at our little scientists hard at work. Is that my house plant? Yeah. Eugene and I are combining the photogenic piglet of Chlora and Phil, thus creating our helium rope. Huh? Well, my stars. I knew you could do it, Maggie. Would you get out of here already? Be strong. Be strong. Failure is just success upside down. We'll let you geniuses get back to work. Told you, honey. Cash is king. Maybe we should go over these projects one more time, just to be sure that you gals really understand them. That's one idea. 
Or you and Eugene could just keep on working while Rena and I fix you a snack in the kitchen. It's hard to get an A on an empty stomach. What do you say? Do mycoplasma self-replicate? Why can't you just say yes? Rena, just think. Tomorrow at this time, we'll be A students. I know. It's like our whole lives are about to change. Okay, you are all worthy to gaze upon us. Smart and kind. It's strange, but knowing that we're getting an A actually makes me feel smarter. You know, Reyna, we could get an A tomorrow like any old smarty. Or we can get an A with style. Maggie, I thought that money was for after you got an A. Technically, yes. But with Wendell and Eugene on our team, that A is ours. But think about it, Eugene and Wendell are doing all the work. The least we can do is look fabulous. You know, you're right. We practically owe it to them. That's what I'm saying. We're getting an A, Reyna. This may never happen again. Are you sure about this? Is the speed of light faster than the speed of sound? I don't know. Me neither. Let's go shopping! Maggie, don't you feel a little guilty about leaving Eugene and Wendell to finish the projects on their own? Reyna, the projects are only a small aspect of the presentation. We can't just talk the talk. We have to walk the walk in these fabulous new shoes. What do you think, Maggie? I'd say Reyna's about to get her A on. You know it, girl! Eugene, we've really outdone ourselves, haven't we? Oh, I guess so. Are you okay? You don't look so good. This looks very interesting. <laughs> Maggie, why don't you tell the class all about it? And steal all the glory from my partner? Never. After you, Eugene. <laughs> He's so excited about the project, he can barely speak. <laughs> It's showtime, Eugene. Suck it up. This happens once in every young beetle's life. I had no idea it would be today. You're not revolting. I mean, I'd lose the unibrow, but other than that... <laughs> okay, I don't know what molting is, but how about you do it on your own time? Is everything all right? Perfecto. But, uh, hey, just for kicks, why don't Rena and Wendell give their presentation first? Okay, say, boy. Listen, pain, more icks, pain. Somebody get Nurse Matheson! All right, everyone. Molting is nothing to worry about. Eugene and Wendell are simply shedding their exoskeletons. It's a natural, beautiful process. It is just so... Remarkable! I wish the entire school could see this. Oh, that's nasty. And poorly timed. Come on, Eugene. It's our moment to shine. Tell Miss Winston what we've created here. Ah, uh, Maggie? Sure, yeah, we'll be right with you. Let's go, Eugene. Tick tock. Oh, I'm bolting, bolting. Oh, what a world, what a world. Maggie? Since your partner's a little busy right now, why don't you tell us about your project? Uh, okay. <laughs> we worked really hard on this here, whatchamacallit, to make sure it does all the cool stuff in the and, as you can tell, it clearly proves the theory of thingamabobbity. Rena, they're not buying this. Do something! <laughs> It's had a... Hey, guys. Everyone feeling better? The cesium have an atomic weight of 75. Oh, that's great. We were so worried. Actually, that was a no. I am so never gonna get you guys. Look, we just wanted to say we're sorry for messing up your presentations. It's okay, Maggie. I hear college is overrated. Oh, don't worry about that. We've explained everything to Mrs. Wingston, and you're both getting A's. Wow. 
Aesthetics. Oh, what about you guys? Well, let's just say Rain and I will be doing a lot of extra credit. Experimental subjects. At least with the money we make, we can pay my parents back. With our new device, we can rotate flies at higher speeds without their wings ripping out. We hope. <laughs>